Welcome to Bar. My name is Jenny, and we're going to go. All right, here we go. Roll your shoulders back. Good. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Good. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Uh, again, inhale. Exhale. Halfway. And fold one more time. Inhale. Exhale. Halfway. And fold. Good. Inhale, rise. Sit it down for a chair. Good. Breathe. Good. Elbows reach in. You can make little fists here and you're going to shoot those arms out. One leg at a time. We ready? Here we go. Back and back. Good. Really reaching. You can point your toes and just tap. Or if you need your foot right now, you can have your toes tucked under. Good. Elbows come in by your side. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Try to stay low in those legs. Begin to breathe. <sighs> Good. Like you're holding Simba out there, whatever your arms extend. I know that's exactly what you're thinking. Now you are. Good. Breathe. Belly button into your spine. Legs should be warming up pretty fast here. Good, roll your shoulders back. Nice, feet are wide. We have reach and pull, here we go. Reach, pull back, reach, pull back. So nice wide swipe, pull it back. Nice. Just getting into those legs, getting into those arms. <sighs> One more. Other side, here we go. Good. Perfect. A few more. Ah, really opening up, bending into that knee. Good, all righty. Come on in, walk those feet in. Whew. All right, we're gonna find that squat again. Really shoulders back and out and out. You're gonna alternate for now. Again, so I have a nice bend in my knee here from the side, this is what it looks like. So I'm staying low. Good, chest stays lifted, so don't be like this, right? Nice and pretty. Point your toe, try to get that leg straight. Try to stay low in your legs. Excellent. And let it go. Good, take those legs wide on your mat. Good, heels in, toes out, inhale, reach up. And exhale down, inhale up. You're gonna enjoy this for now because it's gonna get static and then it's gonna get hard. But enjoy this nice knee bend for now. Knees go nice and wide. Good, knees stay wide, excellent. And you're just gonna take your hands you have them in a nice circle here. You're gonna reach out and take it up. And you're gonna reach all the way around. So like you're holding this big beach ball. Try to stay low in your legs. Take a direction. You of course have to go the other way eventually, but not yet. Breathe. Good. Keep it down. All right, and other direction. 
Good. It does take a little bit of balance. You can slow it down if you need to. Again, trying to stay on those legs as best you can. If you need to come up, you can and just do the spine. Yeah, with straight legs. Otherwise, use those legs. One more. Good, nice. Stand it up. Woo! Excellent. All righty, go ahead and come down. We're gonna do some, it's gonna look a little more like some stretching, but just really like opening up does take some strength. Nice, already jump to the ground. All right, one foot in, one foot long. Inhale, you're jumping over. Nice stretch, flex your foot. And you're gonna reach behind you, point your toes. You can just bend into this back elbow, arm reach up, or if you want, you can press into your knee and reach up. Good, take it back down, up and over. Flex that foot, nice, and then point that foot, reach back, maybe take those hips up. Good, reaching up and over, flex. And then reach behind, lift, or at least open up your chest, get again. And take it back. Good, and take it down. Good, take it back. And take it back down. One more time. Good, and take it down. Simply move to the other side. Get all set up. So I'm a little bit open to the side instead of like facing this leg. Okay, inhale up and over. Flex your foot, stretch for a moment on this first one. Beautiful, and then take that hand down, point your toes. Again, you can always leave your hips on the ground and bend that back elbow, try to open up your chest still, or you can lift up. Good, and take it down, just blowing out. You can go at your own pace, you can go at my pace, whatever works for you. Good. Nice, whatever's working for you. Kind of flowing it out here. And keep flowing back and forth. Maybe go one more round. <sighs> Nice. Excellent. All righty, go ahead and bend your knees. Come up to your knees. Great. All right, here we are. So if you know that you want something under your knees, you can just take your mat and do this. Then you have three layers. If you have carpet, you'll probably be fine, but you know, if you got props, might as well use them. All right, here we go. I have a planner's mat. Best invention ever. All right, sweet. Go ahead and turn your foot to face the front of your space. Good, and then go ahead and make your way on down to those hands and just beginning to rock forward and back. Good, breathe. We're gonna get some more stretch in today. That is my goal, because I normally don't do a ton of stretch and I don't know why we don't do that. So good. You can have your toes tucked under in the back or untucked there. That's up to you. Good. And then walk those hands back in. Walk it on up. Excellent. And then you're going to inhale those arm reaches up and over. And exhale away. Now, when you go away, you can find the ground great. And maybe lift that leg up. Good. Going back and forth. Ah, really working for a side body, finding some of that stability muscles. Uh, we haven't done a lot of the side body action in a hot second, except I think we did some last week. And I was like, oh yeah, that. So good. Good. 
doesn't actually matter how your foot lands here. You're gonna get a good stretch either way. And then I've got news for you, good or bad. Next time your hand's down on the ground, you're gonna leave it there. Arm reaches up and over and knee into your elbow towards the sky. So right up high, not to the front. Try to get it up high. You can be on your fist here if it's killing your hand. Good, to the front, same thing. Good, crunch in, extend, crunch in, extend. Really crunch in, you can really round in whenever that knee and elbow comes in. Good, all right, extend that leg, arm can be up here or on your hip. Pulses, here we go. Try and keep your chest open to the side. Full range, here we go. Tap and lift, tap and lift. Woo! Good, tap and lift. All right, lift, bring your knee in and take it back. So like you have a stuffed animal right here, yes. Good, trying to get that leg level, you got this. We're not here for forever. Try to keep that leg level with the ground, parallel to the ground, woo! Nice, extend out long. Oh, I know, everything's hurting. It's fine, you got this. All right, step your foot in enough to where you can get your heel on the ground. Toes are gonna face out. Good, so this is a modified warrior too, if you're into yoga, this is what it looks like. Go ahead and then you're just gonna bend in and straighten. You can have your hands wherever you want. Just really working through that leg, through that hip, stretching it out, hopefully it feels good. And if you need more padding under your knee, maybe put like your sweater or a towel under there or fold up your mat 50 billion times. Good, next time you're in, you're gonna stay. Maybe find those arms for a moment. Ta -da. All right, and then find what would be a side angle post. You can be right here on this front leg or you can have your hand on the ground because it's pretty close, you never know. Whatever's more comfortable, and then begin to take some arm circles. It's really working through that shoulder joint, that mobility. Don't use it, you lose it, right? Or use it too much, you lose it, but when we come back, we find it again. So you got this. Try and keep your chest open. So if that means you have to come up here a little bit higher, that's fine. Switch directions, here we go. Ah, nice. I know this isn't the sexiest move because you're not like really in pain, but sometimes it's nice to just like find something that feels good, stretch it out. Good, next time, maybe let it bring you back up. Sweet, excellent. Oh, here we go. Switch to the other side. So just move your knee onto your pad, whatever you got. Situation also, pro tip, house shoe, put it under the knee, it's perfect. It works so well. All right, so whenever you're ready, you're gonna start with your foot facing the front of your space. Good, reach up and over. Good, and back, and other side. Maybe you find the ground, probably gonna wanna see if you can find that ground. Good. All right, and coming back up, we're gonna go back and forth like we were doing, all right? Hope we don't get seasick. Do you reach up and then however your foot lands is fine. Take that leg up and reach over. 
And if you want, you can always leave that foot on the ground and just enjoy the stretch opening up your chest. Or you can begin to find a little bit of strength here. Just point that toe. Good. Make sure you're breathing. Go at your own pace. Good. One more, and then you get to stay. Woohoo. Okay, here we go. All right, elbow and knee to the ceiling. Here we go. I know that hip's already telling you things probably. Good, breathe. Remember, try to think knee and elbow up for now. Make sure you're not dumping into this shoulder. Pull your neck away. One more, to the front, here we go. Crunch in, extend. So belly button in, extend. Good. Breathe, building up some shoulder strength, clearly. All right, extend out long, hand can be out long overhead or on your hip, pulses, ankle to the sky. Try to keep your chest open at the side. Full range, tap, lift, tap, lift, tap, lift, tap, and lift. Yep, I'm feeling it. Try not to let your foot rest on the ground. You're just gonna barely tap it. Good, bring it up, knee in. Knee goes in and back. Like you have a stuffed animal right in the crack of that knee, keep your shape. Trying to have a nice tabletop, like you got that book on, you got books, you got stuffed animals, looks good. Breathe. Nice tabletop, forward and back. You got this. Uh. One more. Oh, buddy. Ah, nice. You know, we forgot to stretch on that side. All right, toes face the front of your space. Hands are down on the ground and then walk those hands out a little bit further. Oh, maybe it's a good thing we forgot till now. And then you just go forward and back. Good. And then walk your hands back in and walk it all the way up. Turn those toes face out. And again, if you need to move your foot in so it can, excuse me, be on the ground, that's fine. Good. And then just bending in and coming back. Good. Find your breath. Again, hands can be wherever you want. I like to just like give my arms a break here and in case my leg needs me. I tell myself. Good. So you're just going in and out your own pace. You're like, oh, it feels really good. And you want to stay. That's fine. I'm trying to get deeper though. It's a good active stretch here. Good. Next time you get to stay. Let's flip those arms out. Beautiful. All right. Hand down. So you're coming into side angle pose. Yes. So you can be up here or that hand can be on the ground. Just open up your chest. Here we go. Shoulder circle. Should get a nice big range of motion here. Breathe. Enjoy. I know your arm is thankful. Sweet, go the other way.
Okay, maybe let the next one bring you up. Ah, beautiful. Excellent. Ah, oh, sweet. Okay, while we're here and while our mat's all folded up or you got your little knee prop, we're gonna go ahead and come to the other side and we're just gonna hit some nice candlestick action here. All right, so again, foot can be here facing the front of your space or it can be out to the side now, it doesn't matter. Arms are up. So remember, this is gonna give you a nice long lever. So if you need to make it easier, you just bring your hands down or here, okay? All right, so leave your pointing fingers out and taking it side and coming back up. Good, side lean and back up. Side lean and back up. Good, breathe. So good for your core. Again, one of these things is like, doesn't feel too painful, hopefully, but it's definitely good. Okay, one more. Nice, and we're gonna go the other direction. This one's a little harder. Yeah. Remember, if you need to make it easier, hands can be here, or hands can be here, okay? You are just like inherently raising your heart rate, getting your heart rate up by having your arms over your head. So again, one of those lovely things where we're not leaving the ground, but we're getting our heart rate up. This is cardio. Nice. Good, I'm say. Good, all right, bring it back. Take your hands down, nice. And then just find like a little bit of a child's pose, but knees are together. I know it's kind of hard to breathe here, but just letting your back really release. Good, all right, take it back up. Again, foot can be facing the front of your space or it can be turned out to the side. Anywhere along that continuum is fine. On your core. All right, hands up. See if you can't interlace them the other way. That includes your thumb situation. All right, and then leave those pointer fingers out. Do your leg, here we go. Might take a little bit to figure it out. Like this is, cause I also need to work on my shoulder mobility. I'm one of these people who like when my arms are here, I'm normally like touching my face with my biceps and I even need to like work to get kind of more space here. So this is just a good way to, Work into that. Good, three. Good, one more. We, all right, other side, lean away. Only go as far as you can pull it back up, right? I don't know about you, but I'm getting kind of like sweaty over here. <laughs> I'm like, we haven't really left the ground for the most part, but whoo, this is good. Good, belly button is still into your spine, so you're building those muscles in, not out. Two more. One more. Good. Let it go. Find a little bit of that child's pose. All righty. Sweet. Come back up. All righty. And if you want, you can go lengthwise on your mat. I'll go lengthwise on my mat just so you don't have to unfold it. You have a good situation going on. All right, toes can be tucked here or untucked. Doesn't matter. Your foot, you might get a foot cramp if your toes are untucked, but it's kind of, you'll find out. All right, roll your shoulders back, arms reach out. Lots of core today. And beginning to fold, 
Keep this in a nice long straight line. Good, and bring it back up. Ah, release those arms, good, inhale. Exhale, take it back. Good, bring it back up. Sweet, let it go. All right, inhale. Exhale, take it back. And bring it up. Ah, sweet, inhale. And exhale, take it back. And bring it back. How are those quads? <laughs> take it back. It's time to go back as far as you can. Don't go back as far as you can, get it? You're gonna do tiny pulses back. And you can squeeze your butt if you need to here. Just use that core, use those quads. And bring it back up. Excellent, all right. Place your hands on the ground, tuck your toes. Oh, downward dog. Hold you're working in more stretch today. Oh, maybe pedal out those feet. Working through those feet. Good, all righty. And then however you want to, you can step that right foot up. So I'm just gonna inhale it up. So if it doesn't quite make it, just get behind it, move it. So you're a nice lunge, sorry. You might wanna unfold your mat if you had it all rolled up. Find your details, right? Woo, come on up, find your lunge. If you need to be near your, your bar, your ledge, you can totally do that. Good. And then I just want you to tuck your pelvis under. Yeah. You should be getting a really good stretch through here. If you tuck that pelvis under, you can bend your back knee if you need to. Maybe you can sink down a little deeper. Good. Breathe. We could do kind all kinds of crazy stuff here, but I just want you to find your balance and find that stretch. And we'll move to the bar for the crazy stuff. Sound good? All righty. Oh, take it back. <sighs> Whatever is in your practice, and then whenever you're ready, you got another leg. Make it up. Make it up. Make it up as you go. Now step it up. Breathe. All right, find some balance. Maybe take that front foot a little bit wider to help with your balance if you want. Otherwise, come on up. And yeah, maybe sink down a little deeper. You can really tuck your pelvis under. You can literally, it helps me to just literally guide my hands. Use my hands as guides. So really stretching through that quad. Feel like you're shaking. That's great. It means we're doing some good work here. Working on your balance, working on that strength, working on that stretch. Funny, static holds. Sometimes they're the real deal. Good, roll your shoulders back if you're like really using your arms. Try to let it go. And let it go down to the ground. Ooh, sit that foot back and then just walk yourself back over fault. Hang out there for just a moment. Maybe shake out your head yes and no. Good, bend your knees and roll all the way up. Excellent, if you need water, go ahead and grab that. Turn my music down just a hair here. Don't want it to interfere with your bar. Okay, yeah, feel free to grab water. All right, he's sufficiently to a degree satisfied. All right, so you're gonna take one, one hand, both hands on, one foot in, one foot back, really shoulders back. Here we go. And you're gonna come down and out. So typical lunge for now. Begin to find one that works for you. Good. Cancel the locket. Good, stand up, heel lifts off the ground in the front. Here we go, down and up. So you can keep that heel down in the front if you want, or level up a little. Four more, four, three, two. Stay down on the next one. Here we go, so you're gonna stick your butt out, tuck it under. So a little tuck, tuck, 
working through your spine and your quad and your butt. So squeeze your butt to really get that tuck under. Tuck, tuck, tuck. You can put your heel on the ground if you want, or you can leave it up. Oh, hello, quad. You're still there. I feel like all the way around. Is this nice? You like sure, Jenny. All right, and let it go. Oh, hey leg, hey leg. I like you. All right, so feet are wide, heels and toes out. Just kind of rock those hips side to side. Like what you wish you could do while you're driving, right? Good, bend both knees. Take your hands down, try not to snuggle up next to this chair. Good, maybe stretch the other side. Good, and come on up. All right, I know your leg didn't forget what just happened, but hopefully it's a little bit better and it's not angry at you. Okay, typical and just heel on the ground to start with. Roll your shoulders back, other leg is back. Here we go, down and up. So take these regular lunges to adjust. If you're like, I really wish I was closer to the bar or further from it, now's the time to fix that. Good, heel is up in the back, yeah. You're going straight down. Remember, we don't want any of this. Straight down and up. Good, lift your heel up off the ground and go. You can always have your front heel on the ground if you want, or have them both lifted. Good, four, three, two, you're gonna hold the next one. Good, little tucks. So stick it out, tuck it in. Good, you got this. If you need to think about instigating it from your ribs, you can. Otherwise, think about instigating it from your hip tuck. You got this. Woohoo! Whoa, buddy! Life is so good. Life is woo, toasty today. All right, keep going. Really try to keep talking. And let it go. Okay, step away from your bar. You don't need it. You might think you do, but you don't need it. All right, heels and toes up. Oh, Ben. Maybe drop one shoulder and the other. Good, toes with the front of your face. Ooh, forward bold. Good, put your hands on your face, turn your heels in, roll it on up. Excellent, you guys ready to keep working? I knew you were. All right. Hands on, Woo. simple push-ups, yes? Super simple push-ups. All righty, so hands are on. You can, if you wanna make this harder, you can either be on the ground or you can have your hand on the bench side of your chair. Good, rising up onto those toes, nice long line. So butt is not back, butt's in the line. Down and up, here you go. Good, couple more, one more. Good, stretch it back. Good, nice, take it up. All righty, we are coming back down to the floor. I know, it hasn't been that long, but I think it misses us. All righty. Okay, so there's a few options. This is why I wanna be on the floor, because I want you to be able to make it harder or easier and easier to do down here. So, what is gonna happen, let me show you. We're gonna come into a plank. Okay, and then we're gonna do these one leg pulses. Okay, so your option is you can be in tabletop and just be doing your one leg pulses. You can also be on your elbows here doing them or from plank. I'm gonna work into my shoulders a little more. So 
I'm going to be on my elbows because that's really going to load up the shoulders and take some of that weight off my hands. But if you're like really trying to work on your hand strength and your grip strength, be on your hands, okay? So your choice, knee on the ground or not, find your plank. Good, extend one leg back, reach your toe and up and down. It's not terribly high, so breathe. All right, switch it out, other side. So I'm doing these, there's not as many, right? Because ideally at some point you'll be in plank, even if you do it for a little bit and then have to drop a knee, it's fine. Good, all right, lower down, find child's pose. Whatever you need for a moment, rest. I know you guys have to pull yourselves off of cliffs every now and then, or you're into trapeze, whatever your goals and your dreams are. We're gonna help you get there, all right? So live, right? Okay, all right, tuck your toes under. Find your elbows, you're in your forearm plank, and then just either hold it with your knees down or with your knees lifted, and then just begin to seesaw back and forth. Excellent way to build shoulder strength here and obviously core. And let it go. Ah, oh, nice. Lower all the way down onto your belly if you're on your knees or in child's pose. Meet us there. Good, all right. Place your hands flat on the ground by your sides. Good, and then just lift your chest up off the ground. Good, and instead of looking out in front of you, just look kind of at the ground under your face. So you have a nice long neck here. And then release. So that's step one, you can go back to that or you can add a leg lift, so whenever you're ready. You're gonna take it up, upper body, find that leg lift. Good, maybe your arms hover off the ground as well. Good, and let it go. Okay, so again, you can do just your chest or just your legs or both. We're gonna add a nice little rock while we're at it. Ah, this is gonna be so good, maybe so terrible. Sorry if you're on hardwood and this is painful. All right, so lift your chest up, lift your legs up. Maybe lift those hands up. You can stay here or you can be in. Just do a little bit of a rock. Probably not gonna look super graceful or feel super graceful. But you gotta really engage your legs in order to keep them off the ground for this. Good, and let it go. Simply roll over on to your back. Oh, you know that rock thing we just did? You can do it on your back. Oh, it's way harder. All right. Depends on who you are, actually. Whew. So you're on your back. You can keep your eye, but you haven't. <laughs> so roll, curl your chin to your chest. I, you know, I like to keep my arms glued to my legs because otherwise they get kind of crazy. All right. So you're going to take your legs up off the ground and you're like, hmm, this is pretty hard as is. Maybe that's where you stay, yeah? So let's just hold it for a moment. If you need to put your hands under your hips in order to hold that, you can. And then let it go. <sighs> Don't worry, we'll, we'll do some neck stretches. So if you're like, that is where it's, I'm feeling it, okay. We'll take care of you. All right, chin to chest, lift your legs up off the ground, maybe hold on to those thighs, and you're just gonna do some nice rocks here. Good, and let it go. Not too hard, right? Okay, well, if you're thinking that's not too hard, hands can be behind your head, just don't pull on your head, please. Or hands can be long, so you just became doubly long, all right? So you're gonna lift up that upper body. So you're at this nice, I don't even know, it's not even an egg-shaped contact. All right, and then, yep, it gets a little harder. And let it go. Holy cow. You're like, why is it so hard? All right. And then place your feet flat on the ground. Let's do a couple bridges just to kind of get the other direction going. So hands by your side, hips go up and down, up and down, up, down, up and down. Keep going up and up, up and up. 
good. Up and hold, hold. This is really good, well, well-rounded workout. I feel like we're getting a lot of different angles on our body here. All right, those hips still nice and high. All right, little pulses up. So think higher, 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 higher. You can squeeze your butt to get those hips higher, higher, higher. Little pulses up and up and up and up and up. You got this, go, go. Good, let it go, woo! Maybe pick up your knees, put your hands on those knees. You can take some circles, maybe rock side to side. If you're going in circles, reverse it. Yeah, good times. Alrighty, and then place your feet back down on the ground. We're gonna do those knee taps, yeah? Yeah. All right, hands down by your side. Up, tap and down. Up, tap and down. So you're just going up, tap your knees and down. Up, tap and down. Up, tap and down. Good, up. Tap and down. Good, next time you're up, stay up and just tap, 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 tap. Try to keep those hips nice and high. Chest to your chin. Good, let it go. Woo, bring those knees up. Ah, excellent day. All righty, let's go ahead and do some good old Pilates. All right, so take one leg up, extend one leg out, chin to chest, point your toes, please. We're gonna make this pretty. All right, so in Pilates, right, your hands are here. I believe I forget, whatever. All right, so double pull, double pull. Hands can be wherever along those legs. Yep, outside arm is typically a little higher, I believe. Chin to your chest. Now, if you get tired, you can always let your head rest on the ground. Otherwise, you have a nice great ab engagement here. Getting a good stretch while we're at it. Hi, oh. Good. Keep it going. Belly button to your spine. Keep thinking. Belly button to your spine. Inhale. Two. Exhale. Two. Inhale. For two. Exhale. For two. If you need to breathe more often, you can. Good, both legs come up. You get to roll down. Good, double straight leg stretch. Grab anywhere along those legs, pulling them closer to your body. Whew. Take a nice breath, nice breather right here. Good. Bend your knees, grab behind those knees, and roll up. Great. All right. And then legs are going to go nice and wide on your mat. Flex your foot so you can saw your toes off. That's really fun. All right. So again, you might want to just pick yourself up and set yourself down so your hips are like tilted forward so you're not like this because this is like already starting at a disadvantage. But if you're back here, it's fine just where you are. All right. So flex your feet. Good, arms reach up, this is out. Good, you're gonna turn to the side and then you're gonna try to shave for the outside of that leg and come back up in the middle and then lean and shave. Good, saw off that toe, not shave it off. Saw it off, you shave it, hair will grow back. Don't do that. All right, you're just gonna reach. Oh, nice long and twisting here. We'll reach with your body, not your shoulder. It'll be like, eh. no, use your body. Let yourself lean. Give yourself over to gravity and lean. Okay, don't want to go too fast. You don't pull anything. Nice and steady. Exhale as you go down. That's going to help you reach a little further. And the inhale is going to help take you back up, by the way. If you can't get it quite synced up, please don't stress about it. Ah, you're almost there. Good, excellent. All right, go ahead and take those legs in. Close your feet together. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, stretch over. Ah, so nice to stretch. Good. 
Good, bring it back up. We are gonna do another stretch. Take your legs out long, bring one leg in. We're gonna go into a twist here. So you can have your foot here, you can have your foot here, or you can take that foot in, just don't sit on it, please. Good, and then hug your knee into your midline so you get a nice glute stretch here. You can hang on to your hand like I am, or you can push this hand behind you to help get you up nice and tall. Sweet. And then wherever you are, kick these toes off, toes up off the ground for your top leg. And then you can grab for the inside or the outside or your big toes. And it doesn't matter if your leg is that long or like this, either way works. And you're just gonna extend that leg out. Maybe extend your other arm back. Best of your ability, try to sit up tall. And I pinned it, let it go. All right, however, you wanna get into the other side. That was the fancy way you can get out and get back in however you want. All righty, then bring it in. If you're like not, if you need some more real estate here, take that hand behind you. You can kind of give yourself a lean back so you can pull this leg up, okay? Otherwise, try to sit up nice and tall, squeezing that leg into the midline. All right, are we ready? Up all those toes, peel them off the ground, grab inside, outside, or big toe. And extend that leg out long as best you can. Try to sit up tall, maybe extend that arm out behind you. Good, bend that leg, take it out, sweet. All righty, coming into all fours. Sweet, take your knees nice and wide. We're just gonna find a child's pose, no worries. We have balance whenever we get off the ground. That day will come. And then bring it back up. Remember, I told you I'd help you with that next situation. Take that arm up, weave it through. You can stain your weave or you can take a few. It's up to you. But if you do like three, stay there and on your next one. Good, all right, come out of it, other side. Take it up, you can weave it through, and you can do about three of these, or you can just hang out on the first one. It's up to you. Some people need to like move a little bit more before they can like relax. That's you, no big deal. I got you. Good, come out of it. Tuck your toes under, find a forward fold, and continue your roll on up. Sweet. All righty. Before we stretch out our legs and finish stretching out our neck, let's get that balance in. And sometimes it creates just a tad bit of tension, but not for you guys. All right. So you can have your chair within reach in case you need it. Otherwise, we'll try not to use it, shall we? All righty. So what you're gonna do is we're gonna take like a half lotus. So if you're like, heck no, you can always be in your passe. Just remember, you don't wanna jab your toes into your leg. You're gonna just hover nearby. If you're coming in, you're like, hmm, sounds interesting. You definitely wanna to try to use your balance. Bend that knee, find your foot in your hand. Make love, take it. Oh, and then you let that knee fall down. And if you're like, this is easy. Great, good for you. Chairs right there if you need it. Okay. You can also take this hand, reach behind, find your elbow crease. If you're really flexible, you can find your big toe. It is over there. Whatever you do, I suggest you don't look at something that's moving, which might be me. So just focus on like the edge of your screen or something. I tried to look outside the train went by. I was like, ah. Good, all right, bend your knee, let that go. Hey, 
learn something new every day. All right, maybe that wasn't new for you. Okay, so passe on the other side or bend that knee up, reach for that foot, put it into your hand. We stretched today, so you never know. Miracles could happen. So if you actually are like, can you grab your big toe? What you wanna do is you gotta get that leg up super high and then make sure your toes are coming off to the side because your arm only gets so long, right? And there's the big toe. All right, and then you can put your hand here. If you're like, nice, nice, not happening, it's fine. Just, you know, for those bendy people out there, maybe you're having a good day. You got a massage recently, who knows? <laughs> you can chill here. Good, bend that knee, let it go. One side's always better than the other, amen? Just kind of work through those hips. Alrighty, standing figure four, it's the best. Cross it over, sink it down. Oh. And breathe. And take it up, switch it out, other side. And sit it down. And stand it back up. Good, place your feet underneath your hips. Let's just release your entire spine. We did a lot. Moved it in pretty much every direction we could today. <laughs> so, except for major back bends, which I don't feel bad about. All right, and then let it go. Inhale. Exhale, just guide your head to the side. Don't pull, you're just adding weight. Good. Slowly walk your hand back to the corner of your skull as you look down to that hip pocket. Should be a great stretch through your neck. One more angle. So you're looking at that hip pocket, right? You're gonna just, as if you're turning your head super slightly to look towards that opposite hip. Holy macro. And then chin to chest, release your hand and take it back up. To so the other side, nice. Just, just cut yourself, good. Inhale and exhale to the side. Oh, remember, don't pull, just add weight. Your head's like 10 pound bowling ball here, so heavy enough. Just let it go. And then walk your hands to the corner of your skull as you look towards that hip pocket. Oh man, this is so worth it. Take deep breaths. And then slightly rotate as if you're looking towards the opposite hip pocket. Good, chin to chest, let your hand go. And bring it back on top of your spine, good. Take a nice big inhale. Fill up with life, exhale. <sighs> nice, inhale. And exhale. You guys are great. I hope you had fun. I hope you feel like pretty good in your body, like ready to take on the world. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I'll see you next week. <laughs>